Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karin and I'm so glad to have you here with me today. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how I decorated our front porch for fall. I'll also be showing you how one can of hammered copper spray paint transforms several items on my front porch, as well as how to make an easy pocket backed pillow cover that you can use to give old pillows new life. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Okay y'all, this fall, copper is everywhere. Nothing gives you that old world feel like hammered copper. So I knew that there were several pieces on my front porch that I wanted to give that look to. And so I found this at my local hardware store it's by rust -Oleum and it's a hammered copper. So it has more of a texture to it than just a straight spray paint. And I will tell you, it was amazing. I used one can on this little table right here, which you'll get a better view of here in a minute. I used it on two flower pots, just cheap plastic ones. And then I also used it on a lantern that is hanging by our front door, which you'll also see here in a minute. But I wanted to show you the flower pot first. It's so pretty. And this was just a cheap $3 flower pot from Lowe's and I sprayed it and it gave it that texture. I probably will go back later and add um, a little bit of like a stain, like a darker stain to it to give it more patina. But for right now, it's still absolutely beautiful. So I love how it gives that kind of old world feel to our front porch and it's just beautiful for fall. So that is definitely something that you guys can think about doing on your own porches this fall is just buying a can of that spray paint and spraying old flower pots or cheap lanterns from the dollar store, something like that. It will definitely give you an instant old world feel. These plastic flower pots were from Lowe's and I believe I paid about $3 a piece for them. And this is the Rust-Oleum Hammered Copper Paint and Primer in One spray paint that I used on them. I've learned over the years that when it comes to spray painting, slow and steady wins the race. Several thin coats is definitely better than one thick one. Okay, y'all, let's talk pillows. If you're anything like me, you've got a million and one of these little 12 by 12 seasonal pillows from the Target dollar spot. Now, they're super cute as is, but honestly, I'm not as into these kind of graphics anymore. Um, I wanted something a little bit simpler on my front porch. So what I did was I created a pillow cover, a simple pocket-backed one, so that I could still use these on my front porch, but it fit more with the decor that I was using this year. These are two Target Dollar Spot pillows that I've used in previous years, but decided didn't really fit with the design that I was going for this year on my front porch. So I'm going to make covers for them. I went ahead and picked out a canvas drop cloth for the back and a printed ticking stripe fabric for the front. Before cutting my fabric, I just want to make sure that I have the right size for the pillow. Since the pillows are roughly 12 by 12, I'm going to go ahead and cut a 14 by 14 inch square out of the ticking stripe fabric. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and start cutting the canvas drop cloth. I'm going to begin by placing the ticking stripe fabric on top so that I can cut the correct width. My favorite part about working with canvas drop cloth is that you can make one small cut and then tear the rest of it all the way down. Now I'm going to start cutting the canvas drop cloth into two separate pieces, which will create the pocket back on the pillow. I believe I cut one piece at eight inches and another one at six inches. And of course the width was 14 inches. Next, you're going to want to pin down a hem. In this case, I did about one inch all the way down. Repeat this on the other piece as well. Next, just go ahead and line both pieces up with the ticking stripe fabric just to make sure that you've got the right bit of overlap. Now comes the fun part. Now you'll just sew a simple stitch down the hem of both pieces of canvas. If you were slightly more advanced with the sewing machine, you could also do a zigzag stitch, which would hold all of the little threads on the canvas drop cloth in place, but I just wanted to keep it simple today. Now you've got one half of the pocket hemmed up. Now all you have to do is repeat the process on the second one. Once you have the hems sewn on both pieces of the canvas drop cloth, you're going to go ahead and line them up once again on the ticking stripe fabric. This time when you're lining up all of your pieces of fabric, make sure that they are all turned wrong side out. This will ensure that once your pillow is sewn up, you have the correct side of the fabric facing out. Then just place pins all around the pillow cover in order to keep the fabric in place. This is what the back side of the pillow should look like before you sew it up. Now you'll just do another simple stitch all the way around the pillow cover.
that, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of our front porch this fall season. As always, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, share with your friends. All of that helps me to grow this little YouTube channel. And with that being said, I wanted to say a big thank you to all of you who have already been doing those things and watching these videos. We made it to 100 subscribers in one month. I'm sure others have done it way faster, but this feels huge to me. So anyhow, I wanted to say a big thank you to all of you for being on this journey with me. I'll see y'all next week. Bye now.